Hey lovelies, it's Nay here and today I thought I would do a little walkthrough of my traveller's notebook. I did do a haul video on this when it first came out and I'm yet to update you on any layouts or anything that I have done in here. So we're going to get stuck into it and I'm going to show you a few little tips and tricks that I have come up with along the way. So nothing's changed on the outside. It's still the same old lovely Ashley G pink and gold white polka dot. Oh, so in love. Inside I have used some bits and pieces that I did first equip my traveler's notebook with. I've still got a few tags and labels and stuff and I haven't used much of those. But I wanted to show you one thing in here. What I've done is sometimes you get a traveler's notebook and as beautiful as it is on the outside, the inside has no lines, no grid marks, no dots, no nothing. So when you go to journal in it, your lines aren't very straight. So what I've done is I have printed off a four by six piece of paper through my picture mate. And I just created a whole heap of lines, just a whole heap of lines, same line width the whole way down and just printed that out on a four by six piece of paper. And then what I can do is when I go to a page, I can slip it under and you very faintly see the lines through the paper. So then I can journal wherever I want and everything is going to be straight because this card is sitting right in the crease. So it's going to be straight or as good as straight every single time. So that is my first little tip. And I just slot that in the front there and then it's hidden with this pretty Project Life card. And then I can always grab it when I need to journal or whatever. So I don't know if I showed you the decorations on the front of these, but this is the first book. I only, I've only decorated two books in here. There are five, but I figured some of these will be double ups once I fill these two books anyway. So this is a book of faves or my book of favorite photos. And I haven't been keeping up to date with this. I really haven't. It's been horrible, but I just decorated the front. I used some of the Felicity Jane puffy stickers from Sue's Fish Happy Day collection and a label and a few hearts. Uh, the gold glitter hearts are from the Crepe Paper Cute Girl, Prima Flowers and a few Kaiser Bling and Pearls. A little star at the top there and then this little handmade gold and pink paper clip that I made using a bow dye that I don't have. My beautiful friend Melissa has it and I need her to come scrap at Nays another time very soon because I'm running out of these beautiful little bows. I made a heap last time she was here. And so I only have a few left and I'm hoarding them because I don't want to use them, but I love them so much like these ones. <gasps> so pretty. So I'm not going to take this one out to show you, but I'm just going to let you have a little look on the inside. I lined it with this really cute kitty cat paper because it is one of my favorite papers. So I had to use that in there. And I basically made this just a like, you know, a decorative page, some of my little favorite things. And I loved this bucket list quote here and I put the date of when I started and most of this is from cute girl and I just added some bright pink washi down the side there and it's just a cute little little placeholder because I wasn't a big fan of I think it was a teal color on the inside it was lovely but it just wasn't me so I wanted to whiten it up with that cute little kitty cat and then I've just put in my favorite photo of myself which you have already seen heaps of I'm sure is me with slightly pink hair slightly pink hair that went a little wrong. I just wanted to put that photo in there, laid it up with some cute girl bits and pieces, some die cuts that I've had laying around, some chul and a doily and just some of my green washi tape. And once again, those flowers, pearls and hearts, just a little sticker down here from the cute girl collection and take me away on the page. Evans, take me away, roll a date, roll a phrase stamp and a few pearls. The next one I did was just a pretty picture of Pippa that I loved and she just was so pretty and I just wanted to capture that in there and I just wrote a little bit about how much I love our morning snuggles in the sun during winter. It is just a really, a really great time just to sort of hang out. In winter time, she'll, they'll both sit at the door and meow and wait for me to open the door and then they'll come in and jump on the bed and we have family snuggle time in the morning. So it's just a really nice and cute reminder and I added in these butterflies simply because I didn't know where else I would be able to use them. Like I don't use that kind of butterfly a lot. So I thought, why not use them in my traveler's notebook? 
And literally guys, that is all I have done in my faves album. It's really, really bad. But the one I did want to show you, and I'm probably, and oh no, I'll leave it in here just to show you, is my TTC Traveler's Notebook, which is my trying to conceive Traveler's Notebook. I've just got the sticky here that says Wish Upon a Star, and then I use the cute girl ephemera piece, which I just, I really love. She's actually a cute girl with pink hair. Huh? See the resemblance? And the love heart in the background, one of the plastic shapes, a Sue's Fish puffy sticker there, and a few enamel dots from Cute Girl and Pearls. This is a Felicity Jane insert as well, I do believe. What I did, I just left the front page plain in this one. And then I wanted to start off from the very beginning and just talking about Josh and I and how we've always wanted a family, even from like, I think our third date, we were talking about family and how many kids we wanted and all of that. So I just wanted to put that little reminder in the front there how happy we are and how much we love each other and unfortunately sometimes things don't happen the way we want them to and it's just hard to get what you want and we really want a family <laughs> not gonna cry not gonna cry so I just did this basic little floral die cut I think Miriam sent me this from a happy mail and then I put when you wish upon a star there that was from the cute girl chipboard pack and a few k's of bling and an enamel dot and then on this page here I've just put some washi tape some of the puffy stars from the cute girl collection some chipboard some sticker stars I've matted the photo in one of the floral prints put a little house down there and this photo is just basically like talking about my morning routine every morning I have to check my temperature and then I have to go and check if I'm fertile and I know this is probably gonna be TMI for some people but this is my everyday life and I'm just talking about how it's funny that when you are so in tune with your body you're so out of tune with your body and charting every change that happens and trying to find reasons behind it and you know timing things and how it's been a struggle with Josh working in Brisbane and always waiting for that solid smiley face <laughs> so that's what that photo is there this one here is just talking about the possibility of having PCOS it was definitely on the radar of this is what could be wrong with you you're overweight you're having trouble conceiving all these kinds of hormone imbalances from the outside it looked like I had PCOS so we ran some tests and I went back to the doctor and everything came back normal apart from the fact that I had a few cysts on my ovaries that weren't a big deal she was saying that a lot of women have that and it's not a big deal after that I got a bit frustrated and a bit annoyed and it wasn't any annoyance at the doctor herself it was just annoyance at like why isn't there an answer why is this so difficult why can't we find a reason I don't mind having a reason or a problem if I know what it is and then I can work towards fixing that problem but when you don't know what the problem is it is super super frustrating so I just sort of wrote a little bit about that we got transferred to a fertility specialist and uh, she is amazing Dr. Hassan she is just really lovely really sweet Meanwhile, guys, just a little statement out there. I never wanted to go down the doctor route. It was not my thing. I always wanted to conceive naturally and not worry about going to doctors. If we couldn't conceive naturally, then it couldn't happen. It was just not going to happen and we just weren't going to have kids. But I know how much Josh wants children and a family and it would be selfish of me to do that. So that is why we've gone down this route and are doing this. I'm on the fence <sighs> where do I draw a line and I don't know if I could handle going through IVF if it came to that stage but then again I'm not at that point yet where I have to make that decision but thinking about it so yeah I don't know where I draw the line it's really difficult but this traveler's notebook has been really good for me getting my thoughts down on paper and just getting it out there but also making it really pretty I got to use my little dolly stickers which I absolutely love they're so cute and some of these stickers that I wouldn't normally use on a layout so it's always a plus so what I've done on this one is I've just added in a business card from my fertility specialist popped on a little bit of washi tape at the top here and a Paige Evans fancy free button and a few puffy stars from freckled fawn I do believe and then I've used some of the gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous Felicity Jane black on white 
polka dot alpha stickers i need to get more of them they are super amazing i need about 50 packs of those they are awesome so yeah i've just written here with no real results the gp being a little too easy going i asked if we could see a fertility specialist i yes i am overweight yes i wasn't eating healthy I've changed that a little bit. We are working on it. For me, it wasn't a good enough answer. Like just to go and see a dietitian and go and see an exercise coach and give it six months. I'm really impatient and I'm trying to be not so impatient. I really needed to go and see a specialist and get this sorted out and figure out what exactly is the problem because it was just driving me insane. <laughs> Still is driving me a little bit insane. So this one here, I just want to do a little bit of a visual breakup and I just wanted to decorate a page and then down the bottom here I've just written I don't have PCOS what a huge relief but then also there's this side that has a bit more of a story to it just use some cute girl paper some more or less record form stars some bling and a chipboard piece that I absolutely love and as soon as I got that chipboard from cute girl I actually bought another another sheet believe it or not I bought another sheet because I still haven't got my one from American Crafts that they're replacing. So I was like, I knew that was going to happen and I knew I was going to end up with not being able to use it like all my other ones. So I decided to buy another sheet, added on some washi tape on here, some stars and enamel dots. And I've just spoken on here about how it was a huge relief not to have PCOS, but what is actually wrong with me? Why can't I fall pregnant? Like just all those kinds of questions. The, the fact that we're doing tests for progesterone levels before and after ovulation, see if I'm actually ovulating, what's going on with my body, fingers crossed we find out an answer soon. And then this is the page I just did, really super simple, really basic, well, <laughs> really basic. I mean, the color scheme is basic, just the simple white, pink, and gold. Just really simple. I've added on a few doilies, laid them up, added in the cute girl wood veneer shape textured shape added in a leaf from love always by coco vanilla some bling stickers coco vanilla you know studio calico i do believe some hearts from cute girl some enamel dots and bling and then i just wrote this whole story down here about how we got the results back my progesterone levels were at 28 and a good level is 40. 28 is still a good level it's still high. It's still the fact that I'm, I'm actually ovulating. That's a good sign, but it's not the best. So I was put on metformin, which is a drug actually for diabetes patients to lower blood sugar levels. And it has been working wonders for me. It has like just automatically changed. I was taking it for two days and it had automatically changed my cycle not getting pimples like just my hormone levels were less instantly changed it was amazing and i just thought it was an amazing drug and have been really enjoying the effects of it i haven't been craving chocolate as much all of those good things but then you know it's the end of my cycle now again and i am finding that i didn't ovulate this month so it's like alarm bells going off what's going on what's going on so this is just talking about how there are the really good side effects of this drug but then why hasn't this changed like what's what's going on so that's basically as far as i've gotten i do have another appointment in two weeks time once again i'll do another page in there as well but i'm just finding this book so helpful for documenting my thoughts and yeah I'm, I'm really honest about that kind of thing and I have no worries talking about these kind of things very open very honest if you have any questions about this about my private life about my fertility story leave me comments down below next week I'm doing a question and answer video and I would love to include them in there if you have any questions about my traveler's notebook set up let me know in the comments below ask away so i just wanted to do a little catch up with you a little show and tell because i have shown this before but not the pages inside it and what was going on in between the pages by the way these pens that i got from the planner market i think i've said in another video amazing so amazing they write really really well uh, this is a normal ballpoint pen and this is the pen that i got and look it doesn't go through the pages i'm so excited i love them so so much but yeah any questions leave them down below i'll answer them in a video next week i'll be back with a process video hopefully tomorrow thank you so much for watching guys i love you so much i'm sorry that this week has been a bit of a blit but next week is my birthday and hopefully we will get some really cool videos out there for you 
If you really enjoyed this little look through of my traveler's notebook and would like to see more, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. If you aren't already, don't forget to subscribe to the Hayne Daily channel and jump on over to the Hayne Daily Creatives group on Facebook. We have heaps of challenges and heaps of fun, exciting shares and conversations over there. And so we'd love to have you there as well. And I will see you all tomorrow with hopefully a process video. Love you guys. Bye bye.